Coming up on today's episode of Airborne Unlimited, Google Lunar X Prize will end with no winner. Generic aircraft airbag restraints under development by Yamsafe. An MSH to present a second prototype at Heli Expo 2018. Hello, I'm Laura Hudson. It's January 26th, and this is Airborne Unlimited. As ANN has been for many of the most exciting XPRIZE efforts, we were there to document the exciting Google Lunar XPRIZE program a decade ago. But on March 31st, 2018, the window of opportunity to win the Google Lunar XPRIZE will close, and Google has no plans to again extend the deadline for sending a rover to the moon. The Lunar X Prize was established 10 years ago to encourage a private unmanned mission to the moon. In 2014, Google extended the deadline until this March. Four teams, Moon Express, Space Hill, Synergy Moon, and Team Indus, were named as finalists in the competition. But the team that is closest to actually launching a mission to the moon, Space Hill, might not launch until late this year. That means the prize will go unclaimed. In a statement, Google said that it is thrilled with the progress made by these teams over the last 10 years. Significant strides have been made in rover technology outside the resources of governments. What is not clear is how the teams may elect to proceed with their efforts without the $20 million pot of gold at the end of the rainbow. After the break, Colorado skydiving company to be hit with steep fee increase. In collaboration with NASC, introducing Sonics Aerospace, bringing you the Taros Group 4 UAS, the redesigned Tiger Shark Block 4, and the Subsonics Twin Jet UAS, all derived from flight proven manned systems, not concepts, real aircraft. More at SonicsAerospace.com. Welcome back. If you have a story suggestion for Airborne Unlimited, Aero TV, Airborne Unmanned, the AMA Drone Report, our website or podcast, just email to news-spy at aero-news.net. With so much news coming out of the aviation industry, we're summarizing some other interesting stories in a brief segment we call Around the Patch. The Longmont, Colorado City Council has implemented a new fee structure for land use at Vance Brand Municipal Airport, which will have a direct impact on mile-high skydiving. The new system charges non-exclusive users of undeveloped airport property $0.10 cents per square foot that a company uses on an average day. That would cause mile-high's fees to soar to $104,619.50 for the 975,000 square feet it used previously. Mile High paid just $7,896 last year. Rocket Lab has successfully reached orbit with a test flight of its second Electron Orbital Launch Vehicle still testing. Electron lifted off from Rocket Lab Launch Complex 1 on the Mahia Peninsula in New Zealand. Following a successful first and second stage burns, Electron reached orbit and deployed customer payloads at 8 minutes and 31 seconds after liftoff. Rocket Lab currently has five Electron vehicles in production, with the next launch expected to take place in early 2018. The International Space Station has been orbiting Earth for 7,000 days as of last Friday, January 19, 2018. The first module, the Russian Zara cargo module, launched to space in November of 1998. The first crew arrived at the Young 3-module orbital laboratory in November of 2000. Hartzell Propeller has received an STC for its two-blade aluminum scimitar propellers to replace the factory standard props for the Cessna Cardinal 177B aircraft. Offered through Hartzell's top prop performance conversion program, Pricing is $10,800 for the new 76.5-inch diameter scimitar propeller, composite spinner, and STC documentation. Well, that's it for today's trip around the patch. Now let's move on to the rest of the news. AMSAFE airbag seatbelt restraint devices have been standard equipment on a number of aircraft since 2005. 
AmSafe has recently coordinated with the FAA to develop a generic airbag kit, which would be installed via Form 337, that would be adjustable upon installation for generic compatibility to support a current 2-point or 3-point seatbelt system with a safety-enhancing aftermarket replacement. Prototypes have already been demonstrated recently to the FAA. The FAA has committed to helping AmSafe move this through the process based on the new Part 23 rules as an example of how their rule changes can be utilized to upgrade the current general aviation aircraft population. This kit will include next-gen system components based on the 100,000 plus seats with airbags installed in commercial aircraft. The airbag system is not connected to aircraft power, and the EMA and inflators used to deploy the airbag both have a 10-year life limit before replacement is required. AmSafe has a target date of introduction at Sun and Fun 2018, with a goal of a rollout price in the $2,500 range for a 2 seat kit. There would be no custom colors, cable links, or other options. One kit with no variances will be universally applicable for all non-FAR 23.562 aircraft, including experimentals. After these messages, MSH to present its second prototype at Heli Expo 2018. There's a difference between charting a steady course and pushing for the ceiling. And for nearly a century, Hartzell Propeller has been defining that difference. It's in our passion for engineering and research and our dedication to testing the limits of performance. We are built on honor. We are Hartzell Propeller. The Bristel Light Sport Aircraft is what you are looking for. The Bristel is wider than a Cirrus, faster than a Skyhawk, offers more storage than a Husky, and comes standard with Garmin Avionics. So what are you waiting for? Visit Bristel.com to find out how you can get into a Bristel today. Welcome back. Marin Coast Swiss Helicopter will present the second prototype of its SH-09 single turbine helicopter at the 2018 Helicopter Association International Heli Expo in Las Vegas, Nevada, to be held from February 27th to March 1st. P2 has reportedly demonstrated excellent flying characteristics and performance that underpin the SH-09 multi-role capability. P2's successor aircraft, Prototype 3, is currently undergoing preparations before continuation of the flight test program. This helicopter and pre-series aircraft, PSO-4, will jointly serve to attain EASA certification and soon after FAA validation, allowing first deliveries in 2019. In addition to the P2, MSH will display a full-scale mock-up of the SH-09, equipped with an air medical interior developed in cooperation with Metro Aviation, based in Shreveport, Louisiana. This medical interior will highlight the flexibility, space, and capacity of the SH-09. On February 27, the company will announce new contracts for the SH-09 aircraft. Well, that's our program for today. Remember that Airborne Unlimited is currently on our winter schedule and is streamed Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, alternating with Airborne Unmanned on Tuesday and the AMA Drone Report each Thursday. Additional breaking news bulletins may be posted for important stories that fall outside of our normal deadlines. If you're watching us on YouTube, please subscribe and do check us out on Facebook and Twitter. Get comprehensive, real-time, 24-7 coverage of the latest aviation and aerospace stories anytime at aero-news.net. Have a great weekend and see you Monday.